We're going to do a brief video on USD JPY. That's a Japanese. That's a dollar against a US dollar against a Japanese yen. We've got a daily chart here for you with a five-day moving average in red, a 20-day moving average. I'm sorry, five-day moving average in green, a 20-day in red, and a 200-day in blue. Let's take a look. Not a whole lot going on. Uh, in the yen here today, it looks like an intraday bar, and uh, it looks like the yen starting to run out of a little gas here. You'll notice that we put in this top on October 21st at 151.944, and we've run out of gas ever since then. This is now the third day from that. We have not made any new highs on that. Really interesting. It looks to me like this market could sell off a little bit. I uh, had discussed a 9 yen sell off, and I think that's still in the cards from top to bottom. So if you take 9, 52 and subtract 9 from that that's going to put us about put us about what 943 ish i'm sorry 143 ish so i think that's easily possible to come down here right around this level this 143 level and um, take care of what is not really anymore a bad overbought situation but still slightly overbought it's hard to say if that's going to happen if we see a breakthrough the 20-day uh, moving average, this red. So if tomorrow we were to break through the 146.85 level, then we're probably going to go down to the 143 level on the yen, the dollar versus the yen. That's my best short-term analysis of it right this second. It could bounce off of this 146.9-ish uh, level and rally up. That's another possibility. So the key tomorrow would probably be, does it hold this red 100 uh this uh, red 20 day moving average and close above it if it closed below it then we're probably going to go down to and test the 143 level i think we'll definitely get some support down at 143 level i don't see this selling and turning into anything like a route uh the interest rate differentials are just too great but that's my short-term analysis let's take a look and see what rbm research says about it for the entry price is algorithmically generated every morning Let's take a look right here. We have one, two, five, 10, and 20 day holds for the 26th tomorrow. And it looks like a buy at 147.70. And that's uh, kind of saying break through the 20 day and then buy a little bit. I'm not too sure about that one, but I don't, if the computers come up with these, you have to take a look and always use it for entertainment purposes only. You always have to do your own analysis. Can't use ours for anything but entertainment. So that's right back in the middle between what I think it might do and where I think it will end up going. So that's an interesting uh, buy price 147.70 for the USD JPY tomorrow buys across the board one day hold to 20 day hold these are all trading day holds so you can get access to all of those and a lot of other things every morning for free no credit card required at rbmresearch.com just follow the link in the description below head over there and get access to 190 stocks the major forex pairs BTC crypto and the most liquid futures contracts we put algorithm we put out algorithmically generated entry prices every morning before 7 a.m. And if you go by the night before, you can usually get everything but the cryptos after 6 p.m. and the cryptos after 8 p.m. the night before if you check in there early. Uh, keep in mind, it's free, no credit card required. Everything you've seen and heard on here, including enterprises and my commentaries for entertainment purposes only. Can't use it for anything but entertainment. You should always do your own analysis and you definitely trade at your own risk. If you like this video, please click the like button. If you want to subscribe, please do that as well. And if you have a great comment for it, we'd love to hear from you in the comment section below.